so welcome to Istanbul welcome to Turkey right now on an early morning here and spent at this point already over a week in this city and to share with you a little bit the story of the past few days the first impression was kind of like a modern city arrived here big buildings big malls shopping streets but then we were like hey let's see some culture let's go to a little bit of the older area so we went on the other side of the water Finally got our hands on on the famous Istanbul card. Put up like 15 lira on it, and I heard you can use it with multiple people. So let's see. Let's go. So one of the first thing we did, kind of like, uh, let's say, knocking off the tourist places, the Blue Mosque, uh, the Sofia, and it was really cool. We ended up to be there on the weekend, so also it was super, super busy. Nonetheless, got some cool views, went up to like, um, what was it, like a cafe, got a cool view up there. So I've spontaneously been walking around the Blue Mosque, made our way up. Like, they probably have a coffee, but not only that, they also have a super cool view on both the Sofia and the Blue Mosque, so pretty cool place. Name of it is uh, Blue... Blue House. Okay, and right now hitting up a little bit of a more local neighborhood. Okay guys, so I just happened to be passing by this area. This is the Sunday vibe. Literally everything closed. After walking, you know, through super busy touristy areas, it's almost kind of like uh, therapeutic here. And maybe we'll come back another day and it'll be, you know, yeah. busy, busy. And we are finishing off the night right now at a rooftop bar. There's actually a lot in the area here. This one is called Giri Ftar. Really, really nice view. Even the prices are surprisingly affordable. We got like a nice big uh, salad, rice, meatball for around 5 euro 45. Turkish lira. Got the mosque in the background and the whole city in the back. touristy market when we were walking around here I'm totally blown away you know we have the let's say the inner courtyards reminds you a lot of the Taken 2 movie if you have seen that and you know you can just like walk up the stairs nobody minds it at all nobody even approaches you uh, I mean I think probably they will not love it unless it can be full of tourists here but as of right now actually in the morning it's very very quiet and peaceful in some way We've been at the market two days ago on a Sunday and there the contrast was crazy though. We're walking through the alleys, absolutely nobody. Today it looks quite different, very very busy, especially in the morning. The industry is, let's say, starting out. So we walk into some of these side alleys and sometimes it's actually just like super dark. It looks like it's hundreds of years old and people in their individual rooms. I saw this one guy, he was uh, producing shishas. So he was like literally doing the metal for it. The other guy was doing, uh, let's say, the Turkish coffee. Uh, kind of like the Turkish coffee pot he was doing, so yeah, still very very authentic, the trade here, maybe gotta consider getting one of those Turkish coffee cups, so let's go. Now 
Okay, we are at the film set where Taken was filmed. Yes, uh, huh? normal cross. Yeah. Okay, rooftop. This is rooftop. Oh, okay. Oh. Obviously knew that they are producing a lot of clothing in Turkey, but right now just walked through there, just saw some uh, garments and it said made in Turkey on it. So now we are right here, right at the source where it's being made. Oh, as of right now, we are inside of the Grand Bazaar. Actually, outside I already thought this is it. But actually, the real Grand Bazaar is a little bit, let's say, more fancy, probably a little bit more touristy, but overall, a really beautiful building. Alrighty. Starting to... Yeah, get a bit intense out here. And so as of for now, I would say we have been to both sides of the European side. And as of right now, we're thinking to catch a boat, one of those that are passing by in my back right now and go to the Asian side. It is the early morning so I think it's gonna be some nice views. Actually it's also cooling down a little bit in Istanbul. Let's go. Go go go. Alrighty so there we go. First ever boat ride in Istanbul. Let's go. And without a doubt, one of the most interesting things right now is that we are crossing continents. So we are going from Europe into Asia. This is where it is divided. I mean, it's just a symbolic thing in many ways, but... Around a 10 minute boat ride, what was it like? Five lira, probably the best thing you can do with your money here. We are on the Asian side right now. What do you do for a living and what's your title? Are you big or are you small? Okay. That's what I feel like. I'm very big. You don't even have a name card. First Turkish Lachmachun. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. Meat. A little bit, a little bit meat flavor. But I just had a spontaneous idea. Yesterday I looked up the biggest mosque in Turkey. It's on the hill there. They just built it last year. It's like a 20 minute bus ride. I don't know when else we're gonna do it, so... And so there we are. As far as I looked up yesterday, the biggest mosque in all of Turkey. such a big mosque was in Abu Dhabi it was probably as big maybe even bigger but there was a lot of people I'm here right now and when we were in the city I saw let's say parts of the mosque you always see from any spot in the city so I was like let's come out here it's cool it looks super impressive but also while we were on our way up it got really cloudy actually even a little bit cool and there's literally no one right now, obviously, early morning on the weekday.
kind of like a peaceful morning experience for us. I mean, if you're into that kind of thing, if you want to go a little bit outside of the city, the view is definitely unmatched so far. We see the whole Istanbul, both sides, the European side. And you just see, like, look at this. There's like also a TV tower back there. You look all the way far back and you just see some random huge, humongous buildings all the way back there. So Istanbul, probably one of the biggest cities in that sense. Also, if you see it from up here. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's little bit more of an in-depth, different sides of Istanbul video. I think there's gonna be one more, one more video from Istanbul and then we're probably gonna go to the coast, check out a little bit more of the nature, the ocean. So if you're new here, my name is Danny here on the channel. I document my life around my travels. Next to that, we do a little bit of fitness. Talk about different ideas, different mindsets that helped me along my way to live the life that I'm living. If you're interested in a little bit more into that, you can check out my second channel 